Hello, my name is Tim Creamer. I'm the executive director of the New York State School Boards Association. Welcome to Newsmakers, a segment of NISBA News. And today with me is the 54th Comptroller of the State of New York, Tom DiNapoli. Welcome, Tom. Tim, great to be on your show. Well, thank you, sir. I'm glad you're here. Glad to be here. Uh, we talked about a, a few things ahead of time that we want to go over, and I think these are things that are going to be really important for our our members, the boards of education, the school administrators, school business officials who will be watching this. One of the things that you did in July is you talked about state budget gaps and yeah. you were talking about the possibility that we could have some pretty big gaps, like yeah. as much as five billion dollars a year over the yeah. next three years. And it looked as if, if I read that report, it was my understanding that you saw we had some spending increases at the same time we were doing some tax reductions and we were, as New York has oftentimes done, using one shots, uh, some temporary funding yep. stream for recurring expenses. Yeah. Uh, your reserves are low, uh, you say, in the state, and we know that school aid is always linked to this sort of thing. Sure. So yeah. tell me, uh, what's the impact of these budget gaps that are likely going to befell school districts going forward? Well, I think the overall takeaway, and I appreciate the way you, you, you set up the question, because what we do try to point out is the long-term impact of budget decisions that are being made. You know, when the legislature is coming up with a budget agreement, it's in the context of, you know, the coming year. And, and one of the differences about how we look at these issues in the controls office is we say not only what's happening with the coming year, but what's happening two, three, four or five years out right. and encouraging long-term planning which is certainly what we encourage at the local level with your, your school boards as well and and what we're saying is that when you add up you know, some of the good things record increase in school aid this year 1.5 billion dollars and expected continued growth in that area the spending commitments and as you point out uh, impact on revenue middle class income tax cut that's going to be phased in over a number of years the expiration of the uh, the surcharge on higher income New Yorkers that's also going to mm. be phased out in, in the near term. You know, when you add all that together, we see the potential for gaps. Now, all of this is contingent upon where the economy is at. We've certainly gone through some improved years, and I give credit to the government and the legislature for that. More favorable consideration for school funding, the, the, uh, the, the gap elimination adjustment, you know, was repealed. That was a big victory, I think, for the school boards and for yeah, education. Yeah, we were very happy about you that. You pushed for that, and, mm -hmm. and, and your members pushed for it. But I, I think I would add, not an alarm, but a caution, that, that the economy in some ways does seem to be slowing, sales tax collections aren't growing as much, all these other factors that I mentioned. Uh, we may be in for a tighter uh, budget picture as we move into next year. You know, be, again, because of this unusual economy that we have where uh, cost of living is, you know, inflation is so low, that has an impact on the tax cap calculations. Well, I want to talk about that. This this whole idea of the tax levy growth. Yeah. You just came out with a report also in July that uh, said local governments, I'm talking now about the counties, the towns, right. municipalities, the villages, their levy growth is going to be capped at 0 0.68 in 2017. Yeah. Yeah, is that an early indication of what we at schools might expect? Well, you know, for schools in the last cycle, it was below 1% also, oh, yeah. even, even lower than that. Yeah. So I, I think that you are in an environment where that, that low inflation factor is going to continue to to put even more of a struggle to stay within the tax cap. You know, uh, uh, You're I, not you know, expecting it's going to be a lot higher. I don't. Unless there's a dramatic change in the economic trends, I don't think so. Well, Comptroller Tom DiNapoli, this has been great. Uh, you've former been school board trustee. Tom former DiNapoli. school Better board. Better title. Yeah, Mineola, okay. yeah, Mineola yeah, yeah. Schools. That's right. Proud that's graduate. And I was a senior in school when I was elected. How's that to be? Be elected to the school board. I was still in high school. I got my high school diploma, and a week later, they swore me in on July 1st. Since you did that, there's probably been a few more yeah, of that, but yeah, that is a few. rare occasion. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I always say I'm the Jackie Robinson. I was the first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been great to have you Thanks, here, Tim. and you've always been very accessible to us. Great information. Uh, you're one of the, the, the good guys. We're really proud to be uh, associated with you and to have you here with us today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our opportunity to have the Comptroller of the State of New York here with us, Tom DiNapoli, and I hope you've enjoyed this show. You'll find it online at, at any time at www.nisba.org, and we're also on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.